In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Google Forms into Google Classroom in order to create a reusable assessment that will give students their results immediately and give you good data immediately. It also allows you to, create, or to add multimedia and videos and other things to your assessment to make them more interesting and fun to take. Here's an example of an assessment from um, Exploring Computer Science Unit 1. And the first thing I do is I create a form. And, and to create a form, it's rather easy. You just go to Google, um, your Google Drive, New, and then on the More is your forms. And you create those forms and you build them step by step. The Building the actual forms is beyond the scope of this video. But um, uh, if people have interest in learning the details of creating forms, I'd be glad to show you. What's kind of cool is you can add images you can add videos you can break them into sections by like learning objectives or parts of the unit and you can ask all kinds of questions and then you can set it up now google um, forms now allows you to set these up as quizzes um, and that's right in here and you can set it up as a quiz and then you can like um, have values assigned to it and allow students to see the score right after they're done taking the test and then they'll be able to see their score uh, they'll get a when they're done with their form it will look something like this and they can just click on that and they can view their score and see how they did and see how their answers turned out which is a really good way to give students immediate feedback you could use that on exit tickets or or anything you wanted to that way too it doesn't just have to be um, unit assessments. You can also have it like here I have some data that's going to be in, embedded in the test where I want the responses to go to a, a spreadsheet and you can still um, have that set up so that the results go to a spreadsheet and you can get the data off of that and use it as well. You can also just ask to see the data and also compiles it so that you can um, see what uh, the individual student scores are. Um, it also allows you to very easily like delete all the responses and start the test over um, for example for next year. So everything is really easy to use and um, and to integrate the Google Forms in the classroom. In order to do the actual physical integration into the classroom, I want to show you how easy it is to take that. You're going to, sorry, click on this send button. And in the send button, you'll have all kinds of options. You can send them all an email if you have them uh, like a classroom set up or as a group and email. But the way I like to do it is I like to use this link. And I just like shortening links. And I'm going to take this link and I'm going to copy it. Now, I'm going to go to my Google Classroom. Inside my Google Classroom, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste down the link. And um, I'm going to put it in as an announcement. You could put it in as a, a couple of different ways, but the, um, for a variety of technical reasons, I like to use the announcement. And you say something like, take the test. And I paste down my I paste down my link, and what's kind of cool too is I can schedule it to go out at different times. Uh, for example, I may not want this test to go out until next Friday or whatever. I can also send it to multiple classes. So if I teach several sections of the same class, I can just click on all of those, and it will go to those classes. But do be careful if you schedule it and you post it um, to go at a certain time. It you'll have to post each individually to have each go out at its individual time. That's the students will get the posting, they'll click on the link, it will make sure they're logged in, they'll take the test. When they're done with the test, they'll be able to see their results immediately, and you'll also be able to see their results immediately. You can clear it out and uh, record the scores, clear it out for the next class, or just let all the points accumulate and then um, put them in the gradebook that way, just depending on how you want to do it. Um, Using Google Forms in your Google Classroom is a great way to do assessment and to make some fun interactive assessments.